Welcome to the Winning Move Podcast. I'm your host, Stratton Brown. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We have an amazing guest on today. My good friend, Henry Washington, flew out all the way from Fayetteville, Arkansas, wherever that is, to come <laughs> speak at our meetup tonight with me, Dean Rogers, and Jason Pritchard. And he took time out of his day to come talk to me and talk shit on the internet. That's, that's right, man. I appreciate you having me, man. This has already been a blast. Uh, you know, I'm from not too far from here, so it's good to be able to come see uh, the sunshine. <laughs> but I, lo I love it out here, man, and I'm I'm glad you got to uh, send me out here to do some talking. And hopefully, you won't have to edit me out too much. Nah, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. nah, hopefully not. <laughs> but all right, bro. So let's start, man. I mean, so you're real estate investor, entrepreneur. You, I know your following's legit, and it's very, very hard to find in our world these days right. and you're killing it with the um, education stuff. Yep. So let's start off. I want to hear about your childhood. Like yeah. where, where were we at? What caused Henry to play sports? How did, and then we'll go from there. Like, yeah, man. So, I mean, my pops was a basketball player when he was growing up. And so like he, I mean, I had a ball in my hand before I could walk. Right. And so I just always knew I was going to be a basketball player. And so I played ball my whole life pretty much and um little did i know he also like planted the entrepreneurial seed within me too because we never really talked about it but my dad so he was a high school art teacher like for his whole career and he's I mean, a super talented artist but he also um you know teachers have a teacher salary right yeah and my dad liked to do shit that costs money <laughs> and so like he always had a side hustle to make extra money because he, he liked to travel and, and, and take us and trying to show us that the world was bigger than just the city that we lived in. And it was important to him to do that. And so he, I mean, man, he used to like, before I was born, he would grow plants at home and then like take them to the swap meet and sell them at the swap meet, like pop okay. and sell them. Yeah. Then, then he had an, an arcade back when you used to have to like leave your house and go to a place to play video games. Mm -hmm. Like, and then he had, he had vending machines at one point. And then most of my childhood, he owned a barbecue restaurant. So I spent like oh, shit. my youth, I grew up in a barbecue restaurant. He did all this on the side while he was teaching, right? And so I always knew like the seed was planted. Like if you can have a side business, you can make mm -hmm. extra money. Like, But he never talked to me about like starting your own business. He always talked to me about, you know, get good grades, go to college, get a degree, get a good job, right? The, the, the path that you know, most people know about. And so, um, you know, we never had those, those actual conversations, but like I saw the, the impact that it had on him and how he was able to do the things that he wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And so like when it came time for me to start my own business, um, and to invest in real estate, I never had that. Like some people have that doubt or that fear that like, what if it fails? Like I didn't really have that. I saw my dad run right. like, multiple businesses. <laughs> and so when it came time to start, I was like, all right, I'll just do this thing. And so it was a, like his impact on my growing up, like huge impact on my financial future and without even like knowing it or planning, planning it to be that. So it's been huge for me. So like, what were you working hard growing up in basketball? Like grinding, like, yeah, man. Like, I mean, really, I didn't start working hard in sports until like 13, but then like there was like a push. Yeah. There was like a serious push and work ethic. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I went, I went, hard. I always had to work harder than everybody else because I've never been a small guy, uh -huh. but I loved basketball. And so I'm like, you know, you know, like a big baby or tractor trailer, right? Like <laughs> they, they, they had to work a little extra hard to stay in shape than everybody else. So I would do stuff like when my, my teammates, when they would, um, you know, in the off season, they would just be chilling. I'm like, I'm on the swim team and I'm on the oh, cross shit. country team. Right. Cause like, if I smell food, I gain weight. Right. And so like, I got it. I had to stay active all three seasons in school or else to I like stay, just, yeah, wow. to stay ready to play ball. Whereas everybody else could just like, you know, Chill oh, out. it's basketball season. Cool. And they can pick up and run four miles and be fine. Like I just, I'd never been that guy. So I always had to work harder than everybody else in order to just, be in the same you know court with them bro but that i mean that really pays off though like because yeah. that that transcends everything yeah having the right i feel like i was the same way to where i was just never good bro i could never catch i was yeah. somewhat fast yeah. but then like i had to work out try and outwork everybody in order yeah. to like get ahead to get anything in high school 
somewhat and then for sure in college like bro yeah. like completely different game yeah college was a wake-up call for sure <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. so then you went to college and you went and played juco ball right yeah i played juco ball for a year and then realized that um you know being a professional player probably wasn't in the cards but i needed to figure out a way to make money and so after a year at juco ball i kind of just hung it up and went to school to like actually get a degree uh -huh. yeah how'd you realize it wasn't for you uh everybody was good <laughs> everybody was really good and in shape all the time right and like i said i always had to, I had to work harder and like you know i'm six one six two on a good day if i stand on my tippy toes and so like you know in the in the world of basketball post high school like that's short yeah you're short as fuck and right and so i'm gonna be a guard and every guard is like fast as shit and i'm just I'm a big dude, right? And so, like, you know, it didn't take long to put the math together to figure out. Some dudes don't, bro. 